video update. We've had a lot of busy things going on. We had a hell of a conclusion, as you guys would probably guess, a great end of, of the quarter. Uh, September was just, we smashed the ball right out of the park. I think a lot of the exposure to China and Alibaba uh, really helped give us that, that edge in the marketplace. So basically, what uh, I, at this point, guys, what I'd like to share with you, we are down here in South Florida in the midst of a hurricane. So there's, I mean, we had hurricane prep. We had the end of the quarter. We got markets trading and um, a lot of stuff going on here. And, you know, we've got a lot of tricky and treacherousness going on in, in the markets. Uh, one thing that we could look at is the advanced decline continues to rise on the S&P. The NASDAQ broke out to a new high, which usually... We are not at the old high in the queues. So what's, uh, you know, my two cents is we still got a little bit of rotation and some more upside. So let's take a look at what was the big winners of today and what might have more potential in the next couple days. First off, this is a software company called MongoDB. It generated a daily high closed doji. Volume was greater than the average 10-day volume. So that's got a good sign to it. Snowflake finally broke out, finally broke out of its, I don't know what you want to call this, month and almost a week of a sideways range breakout. Today's volume was pretty substantial. For the record, we have exposure to Snowflake. Now, I'm thinking uh, pullbacks, um, you know, should be mild. This last conditional change, 117.63 short-term traders, um, you want to probably trade against that down to 115.88 that two dollar range so i also would probably suggest maybe we could look at some option strategies there's a huge gap here at 126 it more likely is going to get filled first snowflake is an upside potential in the cloud data storage it was pretty much everything data dog we also have exposure to that our live trade room took an option position in that uh, we talked about this Friday, though. Sorry, I didn't uh, wasn't able to put this on uh, YouTube, but it is one that we did on our live trading room. Uh, Datadog's competitor in this space, one of their bigger competitors, was a company called Splunk, and I don't know if you remember that one, but that was bought out by Cisco. So Cisco is the main CSCO, main competitor to that stock, and look at Cisco's doing. So is Cisco going up because of its? you know, uh, legacy uh, internet um, service, or is it going up because it's also in the cloud storage uh, business and competing with Datadog? Amazon was up because of that. CrowdStrike is more, um, again, cybersecurity. Fastly, IBM in that space, Fortinet, Cloudflare, Okta, Zscaler, and Snowflake. Well, that whole sector was up. So money... What's interesting that I like to see, and we haven't seen this in a long time, usually this year it's been one or two stocks in a sector move and everything else is dead money. But all of a sudden, this entire cloud storage cybersecurity sector went up today on pretty decent volume. Amazon, 25 million. It didn't take out its average 10-day volume, and this is my trade station radar package. And this thing really helps me go up and down to figure out things that are you know, showing big buy signals, my daily PPS, whether it's in a weekly buy, you could take a look at everything here and some of these metrics that I try to teach. This is the PMC market catcher, tells me that, for example, CrowdStrike, the relative strength, bright blue, outperforming relative to the S&P 500. By the way, CrowdStrike had a decent volume day today, but I think the, the real uh, momentum has changed for Snowflake and we might see in the cloud storage and artificial intelligence, seeing that space kind of uh, do well over the next few weeks. And that, that was what we saw today. Um, going through a couple of other items, we'll go through some scans really, really quick. Um, looking at the markets in technology. So let's take a look at technology. This is one that I think is interesting. I saw it that popped up. It's Hewlett Packard, HPQ. Uh, it's in the scans. I did see it, HPQ. Let's look at it anyway. It generated a daily buy signal. Volume was great, uh, pretty decent volume. There's my volume trend momentum indicator. And there is the PMC relative strength outperforming. Even on balance volume is showing an uptick. So people that only use OBV on balance volume would say, hey, we broke out with new uh, new highs volume leads price and price didn't take out the high. Now go over to this chart right here. And this is exciting, friends, because 
I think that you know a lot of people are going to get caught off guard on this market. If artificial intelligence is doing well, if we're going to see semiconductors increase to uh, laptop AI applications, who makes laptops? Hewlett Packard HPQ. That's the hardware. This is a pattern where it's straight up, it's sideways. The longer the sideways, the bigger the breakout. The measurement objective here, if we take a look from, let's say, the base of 27 to not the high, but the average of highs up in here, which is 37, that's 10 bucks. Add that down here to the base of the what the 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 the, the sideways range is 32. Add $10 to 32, you got 42, you're at 36 and change. There's some potential upside there. It should come pretty quickly, and quickly means uh, probably in the next six to eight weeks right after the election. So you want to be in something around the DEES expiration for some upside calls there. If there's too much theta and they're too expensive, you want to do a spread. You want to be kind of at in the money on those. So I wouldn't go any further up than a 37 and a half uh 45 type spread something i'll put out some more information on in the next video this week um again we are under hurricane watch we're over in west palm area we're not under the massive hurricane threat like our friends in tampa are and we pray they'll be fine um but we are getting massive thunderstorms big tornado warnings flash flood kind of rain events and that's what we've got going on so at this point at this point, what I'd like to just say that um, hopefully we don't lose power in the middle of this uh, projection is that we do have some a, a lot of stocks that could be pretty well uh, off. Target, it's uh, one that we keep going on and off again. A target generated a nice buy signal on some decent uh, uh, volume. It showed up on today's scan. It's right there. So um, I think that Comcast, now listen, there's a lot of good stuff that's out there. Dividend yielder. Um, I'll just give you a couple that I think are some low risks, and and I don't know if this is going to be one that you're going to laugh at me for, but Disney's starting to attract my attention, and I'd like that weekly volume uh, uh, appreciation in here. So um, at this point, I'll leave you with the, uh, the, the, the way to be in the market right now is probably to look at uh, some Snowflake. Uh, also, you want to look at in that, that sector, Datadog. I think there's some more upside there. Our, uh, our list of things that we are looking at. I've been buying Humana. This was a, a support zone. Humana had a really bad downdraft. Let's take a look at Humana real quick. Uh, you're going to laugh at some of these things. Um, this is a stock that, ow, fell out of bed. This is Humana, $573 stock back in October last year. Just whacked at the knees. Uh, this came at a really strong longer term support. It's so far off the chart, I can't show it to you. We're going to run out of time. But I think we got some fair value in here for a good run back up to the mid uh, 270 area. So don't, don't chase it, but look for maybe, uh, I think it'll stay in a trading range, uh, you know, more likely give us a chance to fill that gap. So 237, 235, I'm in um, acquiring mode, so to speak. So it's not really an option trade. That's Humana. Um, and again, it's, it's a, it, at this point, it's pretty low risk. It's got a, at least to fill in the gap. A pretty high probability so we like that one and again humana ain't going out of business by any stretch of the imagination thanks for listening tonight if you like what you hear remember put a thumbs up we try to give you the good stuff just like we do in our live trading community as well as use our indicators and share how i actually manage money what stocks we're doing thanks for listening and stay safe if you're in south florida prayers out to everybody be good everyone thanks for listening